some dogs, there's no doubt the breed. The so-called mutt, it's not so clear. Take nine-year-old, 93-pound Kariah. His breed, always the subject of debate. Shepherd and some kind of a collie. Akita? Akita, yeah. There's gotta be some lab in there. Lab, German Shepherd. I was looking for a cattle dog or a border collie mix. By the time he's a year old, he's 90 pounds. I hear a lot of Akita. I've actually heard Karelian bear dog. But the answer might be in the mail by way of a DNA testing kit that runs about $60. Think CSI for dogs. Rub and swirl the swab firmly for at least 10 seconds. Okay, come here. Come on. Lift up, open the mouth, let's see the pretty teeth. If there's DNA in that dog, for a breed that the test tests for, it will it will find that. Can't tell you, you know, the dog is uh, you know 98% one thing and 2% another, but it'll tell you that the dog is between a certain range percentage-wise of a breed. Beyond just satisfying your curiosity, there are some other good reasons why you might want to know what makes up your mixed breed dog. Information like health personality, and behavioral characteristics of certain breeds. About two weeks after Kariah's test is sent in, the lab results are returned. Wow! His genetic profile? Percentages ranging from 10 to 36 percent. Collie, Parson Russell Terrier, Level 3 Yorkshire Terrier, Level 4 German Shepherd Dog, Level 5 Rhodesian Ridgeback, Level 5 Siberian Husky. Yorkshire Terrier in there? I mean, I suppose there could be. Although the results aren't guaranteed 100% accurate, it seems to provide some answers to the canine mix that makes up Kariah. Nina Jimenez, Petopia TV.